Hi everybody, just a quick video to show you how to refill the old oil filled telescopic shock. Now this is for oil filled, not for gas filled. How do you know the difference? Well, gas filled, if you compress it, it will spring back. If it doesn't, like this one hasn't, then it's going to be oil filled. So this is for oil filled only. What happens is in the bottom down here is a valve system and when the car bounces up and down and makes the shock absorber go up and down it squirts oil through the valve, metal valve, just a plate with small holes in it normally. Of course this car goes up and down millions of times, even small amounts and the oil gets forced through the hole and gets broken down and gets thin exactly the same as gearbox oil or engine oil or any other oil it gets thin and you've got to replace it even cooking oil, it's all the same so this is what you do this is actually good shock so the oil has not gone thin but it's the only one I've got to demonstrate so we're going to use it right, you can see there's a crimp mark on the bottom here we'll go a little bit higher three quarters of an inch an inch higher with our grinder and we'll clean off the old paint until we get back to good metal hold on this will get noisy there we are that was simple then we put it in the vise unless you've got somebody to hold it for you I'll probably have to put the camera down for two seconds while I do this. Right, she's in the vise. And then we will drill a small hole right in the centre of where we've ground the paint off and got to the good metal. Lo and behold, oil. Then we will drain the oil into a measuring cup. This is just an old cup. I don't need to measure it. I won't be refilling this one. I'm throwing it away. But you'll measure it into a kitchen plastic measuring cup so you know how much has come out. And what you have to do, because there are internal passageways, is actually pump it out. So you'll notice, hold on, let me move it over here so I can demonstrate with one hand. As you compress it, hold on, no, can't do it with one hand, but believe me, as you compress it, hold on, let's see if we can do it a different way. Now oh, that's why it's already compressed. Sorry, I have to do that again. There we are, there's the oil. And you'll keep on pumping it until all the oil comes out. Sorry about that, the battery's died again because I've been using it a lot. Anyway, as I was saying, you pump it until all the oil comes out. Here we go. Well, obviously it'll take a couple of minutes and I don't want to waste the video. So you should keep pump pumping. When all the oil's out, you can move it in and out very, very easily indeed. There'll just be no resistance. Anyway, you'll check how much oil you've taken out. Just say it's quarter of a pint, just for a, an example. You're going to put back a quarter of a pint of new oil. Now this oil that comes out when it's worn is about 10 grade put that back in if you want to leave it pretty standard 20 grade will be the equivalent of buying uprated shocks 
30 grade will be the equivalent of I want to go racing on Pikes Peak. And all you do is you put your oil into an oil can, looking like this, and you just squirt it back into the hole. While you're squirting it in, if it fills up, which it probably will do, there are internal compartments, so you need to move it up and down, up and down a couple of bits, and it'll go into the internal compartments. When you're totally happy, the reason you clean this metal off is you can put a blob of weld on there and seal it back up. So all you'll do is you'll get your oxy or your MIG or whatever you happen to use, TIG, and you'll just weld that back up, a little bit of paint to make it look pretty, and put it back on the car, and you've done the whole job for a few minutes' work and the amount of oil that came out. So you'll probably do the whole car for um, less than a pint of oil, which should save you probably a few hundred quid, depending on what car you're doing. There we are. That's how it's done. Uh, of course, if you've done two or three, you'll become very practiced and you do them quicker and quicker and quicker. So, recap. Clean a bit of surface there so the weld will take. Drill a hole. Pump it into a cup and measure how much you've got. Use the grade you want, 10 grade, 20 grade or 30 grade in the extreme. Put it in an oil can. Squirt it back in. Weld it up. You might find, when you've done that, initially you think it's soft. Uh, because you're compressing air. But if you turn it back up the way it works, within about three strokes, you will see you've got one tremendous shock absorber. Okay, there we are. We'll leave you to fiddle in your garage and see if you like the result. Catch you later. Bye.